Hey, what's up? Jason here from Unity3D.College. Yesterday, Unity gave the GDC keynote, and I just wanted to go over some of the things that they announced that I was most excited about, and I think you will be too. The first on that list was nested prefabs. You've probably already heard about this. Um, it's been all over every Unity news source I've seen. It's something that people have been asking for for a long time. Basically, the functionality to take a prefab and make it a child of another prefab and have things not just break and fall apart. Now there are some plugins that are available that do this and I've used them before and they work okay but they tended to fall apart when it came to a bigger project and things started to slow down and just cause a lot of problems. So I'm really excited to see how the nested prefab system works. Unfortunately it's not until 2018.3 which will be around the end of the year but I'm still excited to see it coming. The next thing on the list is the entity component system. If you haven't been keeping up with that it's basically a a new paradigm for coding to make games that can scale massively. So some of their demos have you know, tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands of units walking around. Again, it's all parallelized, so you can run it across multiple cores and everything apparently just works. It looks awesome. They just released a beta, so we can actually go try it out with some actual working demos. So I'm excited to try that out. I hope you are. I'll probably do some videos about it sometime in the near future. Machine learning is another thing that I've been really excited about. I've done a couple videos on the subject, and after this announcement of the 0.3 version with imitation learning, I plan to do some more. The system looks really awesome. You can apparently just play through a game, have a bot kind of tracking and watching what you're doing and learning from you at the same time, and eventually getting better than you. I think that's amazing. It's going to lead to a lot of fun gameplay and a lot of interesting bots, I think, so I'm excited to check it out. Next on the list was some info about some upcoming unit changes. So it sounds like they're planning on having an, a, a swappable stack. So you can have a unit implementation that works great for RTS games, one that works for FPS games, one that works for action games. I assume that these will be a little bit more generic and just kind of fit into different game types you know, and hopefully handle them all. I'm kind of excited about that. I love multiplayer games and anything that they can do to make multiplayer development easier I think is awesome. For graphics enthusiasts, the new next level rendering system using the scriptable render pipeline I think is going to be a big hit. You can see in the videos that the new quality levels are just insanely high. Everything looks really realistic. They're pulling these things in from real world photos. And I'm just kind of amazed at how beautiful everything looks rendered in real time. So I'm excited to see where this goes in the future and what games start taking advantage of this new system as it matures. If you've been working in Unity for a long time, you know that baking lighting is a giant pain in the ass. It takes a long time, it's slow, and it'll just eat up your entire system. In this keynote, they showed off a new GPU-based light baking system that is almost instantaneous with big giant zones and beautiful light. I'm personally really excited to try it out and see how well this system works, but I have no doubt that it's going to be amazing, and I'm really excited about it. The last thing I want to talk about is the Game Dev Challenge. This is a challenge that they've partnered with a couple other places where a game developer or game designer can write a game design doc based on one of these popular IPs and then win funding to actually build their game using that IP. The fact that you would get to use that IP alone I think is amazing. You know, these are some really cool IPs that you wouldn't normally be able to build around. And all you have to do is write a game design doc. So if you've never done that before, you've never written a game design doc, don't worry, I've got a link below so you can go check out some other game design docs and maybe use those as a template. I'm going to enter, I don't know what yet, I just think it's an awesome idea and want to try it out. I recommend you do the same. So that's everything I wanted to cover today. Again, there was a lot covered in the keynote. I highly recommend you just go through and watch the whole thing when you have some time. Cool. And if you like this video, don't forget to like it or thumbs up it, share it with your friends, and uh, thanks again for watching.